He did not play a knockout. On this edition of Water Wednesdays, uh, we got to tell you there's fresh concern about the buildup of fogs. Remember that term? Fats, oils, and greases in our networks yet again. So I'm here with Farrell Ann Scott. She is an industrial waste inspector with the Barbados Water Authority to brief us on the situation and explain what you need to do to help us at the Barbados Water Authority. First, talk about this partnership you're here with your team, the Ministry of Health, also on board to address the situation with fats, oils, and greases. What are you seeing? Well, as it relates to the fats, oils, and greases, we would have seen a significant increase in fats, oils, and greases at the headworks of our Bridgetown plant. And we took the initiative with the Ministry of Health to educate the public as well as try to rectify this, the situation as it relates to a compromised system. Therefore, we're coming out to commercial and domestic homes as well, trying to address the situation. So we'll be doing some inspections of grease traps with our customers and giving them some best management practices going forward. Okay, so we're here at Oysters and I heard the conversation here with a member of your team talking to the proprietor. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of grease in that grease trap. Definitely. At this stage, as a commercial establishment, we are recommending that he changes the structure of his grease trap to a three chamber, which is a better, more recommended um, chamber as it relates to the retention time of the grease getting into the system. So we are currently having some specs, guidelines, and uh, specifications as it relates to the grease trap to model the system to help alleviate the situation that we are seeing too as well. How did COVID-19 COVID play a role in all of this? I know. I guess more people were at home during COVID-19. Definitely. Hence, more people are cooking, and those fats, oils, and grease are finding the, their way into the sewer network. And this could be attributed to improper disposal of the fats, oils, and greases generated in homes. So we are urging customers at this time to remove all scraps and food droppings, uh, food remains rather, on their plates, taking a paper towel and removing the excess grease generated on the plate too as well, and then proceed to your sinks to wash up your dishes and cutlery, etc. I want you to remind our viewers about how dangerous this situation can be. Uh, if we have a repeat of what we would have seen a couple of years back, back in 2018, you remember when we had that buildup of fats, oils and greases then? Well, as it relates to compromising our system, if we have a significant amount of into our lanes, which is the lane that's already charged with liquid and it can't find an entry or exit point. It is going to back up into the homes and on the environment, which is then producing a public nuisance to the uh, customers there too as well. We also want customers to be mindful of the maintenance of their traps too, because if you don't maintain your traps, the grease then comes into the system and compromises the system. And during this time, we are now in the hype of uh, hurricane preparedness. If we have our storm drains blocked and the grease is coming into the system too as well, that will will impact you as a customer and it also will impact us at the plant too as well and we will reduce the uh, quality of services we are offering to our customers. And as Verlan and her team conduct these inspections, remember you can be fined. There are penalties if you are found in breach of this situation with the fats, oils and greases. Verlan, thank you very much for sharing with us on this edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or previous episode again, please visit our website www barbadoswaterauthority.com you can go to our facebook or instagram pages you can always find additional information there or just type water wednesdays in youtube you can find us there you can help prevent sewage issues use strainers and sink drains and floor drains dispose grease and oils correctly stop think before you put it down the sink a message from the barbados water authority for more information on the proper disposal of waste go to www.barbadoswaterauthority.com and like us on facebook